Now, I have a story for you. Uh, I got up early in the morning and woke up at 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock, and I felt rested after taking an antihistamine that Pat gave me. I slept four hours straight through, and it was deep. So I felt pretty good. So I got online and did a few things. And at 6.30, I walked out the door and walked to get the uh, the red car. The red car takes you to the hospital for 30 baht. Got there, and I was the second person there. So I thought, hmm, this is good. I won't have to wait too long. There's a queue. You put your, there's a little card. You put your hospital number on the queue card, which was number two. And then, um, um, it felt pretty good. It was around 7 o'clock, and, and then, uh, I don't know, something happened. I, a lot of people came in, and I noticed that um, they weren't calling me right away. So, they, um, well, there was, that little cue card was not the right card. The right card wasn't even out there. It was too early. So, oh, i got to be sure. Am I looking at the camera? Is it this way? Is it that way? Is it straight ahead? I don't know. But I gotta figure this out because, you know, I wanna look all professional. So, anyway, um, I was number 22, which irked me. I was just gonna say, screw it, and I'll go home, and that's the end of it. So, what I did do is, since it was gonna take some time, I, I went to the next department where I know I'll see the endocrinologist tomorrow and waited in line. There are lines everywhere for everything, and they sometimes take long, but this line didn't take that long. The nurse was nice. She said, look, you should see the endocrinologist tomorrow. But what I didn't want to do is take all the tests that she wanted to take. Because it wasn't the endocrinologist that suggested it. It was just another doctor, just a regular MD doctor. So I then went to the 10th floor uh, at the other building uh, where I would see the dermatologist. And... They, they, that nurse was very nice, and she said, I'm sorry, the dermatologist is not here today, but they're here tomorrow. You come back tomorrow, okay? So I said, no, okay. So then I walked back to the original place I was waiting, and when I came back, they said, Mr. Robert! I said, yeah. So they took my blood pressure. It was a little high, and um, then they introduced me to the doctor. And... Lo and behold, how about a doctor who actually, first thing she said to me was, do you know anything about homeopathy? I said, yeah, I know a little bit about it. Because she had these beautiful cases of all different types of homeopathy. And um, she gave me three little small pills to take under my tongue to see if that would alleviate the itching. And it helped a little bit, but not enough. But this doctor was, was way different than the other doctors. She took a very long time to ask me the questions. She examined me in the room. She looked at my feet. She looked at where I had the poultice and looked at that. And she listened to my heart. And um, very focused, very caring. She, I could see that she really wanted to help. She gave me two or three more little pills. She treats them like they're gold. Three little dinky pills, small, like, you know, like size of a, I don't know, a little bit bigger than a pinhead. Um, and then she made her recommendations. Uh, she, first of all, took some of the homeopathy and put it in this water. She says, just drink uh, a cap full of this water four times a day. Well, I don't know. It might take me two weeks or three weeks to, to drink all the water. But I'm going to listen to her. I decided just to listen to her because uh, with the kind of caring she had, um, well, you know, I just didn't want to be stubborn and I didn't want to think I know everything because I, I know I do, but I'm just not going to let everyone know about that. Um, so then there was the, the, the medication. And she gave me... This medication, take it any time, she said, okay? This medication, one day, one pill, uh, twice a day, before or after food. And, and, and there's this medication, see that? Big box. That You take that, uh, this is for the edema. So I keep remembering what... What um, my good friend Wendy says, my good, good friend Wendy, oh, gee, 
She definitely has a few opinions about things. Well, so do I. She told me about her mother when she took the, uh, the pills. The edema went down. And I decided to just put trust into this doctor. And I took one pill this afternoon around uh, 5 o'clock. And then I proceeded to get conked out. And I just woke up. I was sleeping for three hours in my chair. I feel a little groggy. And I feel that, that might be the way it's going to be for now. But she did all the blood work, you know, the kidney, the liver, uh, all of it looks fine, she said. It's, you know, um, she listened to my heart, you know, with the, with the thing on the ears. And, and she even had two students with me. She felt the, she felt the pulse in my feet. Um, now tomorrow uh, I go to speak to the endocrinologist. I'm not sure how that's going to go, um, but that's what I'm going to do. I then went down, since I had to buy all the medication, I, start, I started to talk to the, the pharmacist. Oh, she's a cute young thing and um, very, very caring. They're all very caring, you know. And I, and I found out the, 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 the logistics of the insulin. It's really a pain in the ass. I don't know, can I say that on Facebook? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, uh, this is maybe getting a little long, but... Um, that's kind of what happened. So I felt really good about the doctor and what, not so, you know, I'm just going to go with it and see if this does work. I will see her again on Sunday uh, because she's only there on Monday. It's just like another one of these good luck man things or good karma things to find this particular woman. Um, and I'll see what happens. And, uh, excuse me, itchy nose. Everything's itchy, even the nose. So I got an e I looked at my emails, and for some reason, I got a ninety-seven dollar uh, refund from Airbnb. From a, I guess I may have made of a, I wasn't aware that I made a, um, a, uh, a reservation, but the guy canceled out. So then they give you all your money back, and with a nice apology, and that was nice, and um, you know so. I also got the uh, email saying that the the Far Point Forty Liter Osprey package uh, backpack will be in in the the uh, store tomorrow on well on Wednesday, and I can pick it up any time after that. So I told him I, I have to go to immigration on Thursday, which is exactly in the same spot. It's a big shopping mall, and immigration, and all that, and I'll. Um, hopefully um, pick it up. Now, what's interesting is um, when I came home, and I did a lot of walking today. I mean, a lot of walking from the hospital, up the stairs, down the stairs, elevator, escalator, uh, everywhere. I, I walked long distances, and I noticed my there was more spring in my step, and I felt stronger. Uh, so I really think that um, these um, Crocs, may be the way to go, but I get to find a better sock because the sock that I'm using uh, has an elastic band and it cuts off my circulation and there's a pretty big indent in my leg and that's not good. So I know that the wool socks I have, like a two pair of wool socks, they don't do that and you can wear wool summer or winter. Just, um, you know, just that's why the, uh, the wool underwear would, would probably be great. I've made an executive decision. I am not taking that cruise on May 16th uh, for nine days uh, in uh, in Europe. I thought that'd be a nice way to kind of end it all, a nice cruise. But I'm just going to wait and um, just take the cruise with Pat and decide in a few days about the Copen going to Copenhagen. Is it Copenhagen or Copenhagen? Hagen das, Hagen das, and decide if I want to take that one. Um, you'll have to excuse me. Nature calls. Bye.